the ball game, Claire Crawford's heart suddenly stops. They call this sudden cardiac death. Yeah, that is so scary. Claire is a rare survivor thanks to what happened next. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Gallivan is here now with more of Claire's story. Sudden cardiac death. Yeah, that is so scary. Claire is a rare survivor thanks to what happened next. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Gallivan is here now with more of Claire's story. Beth and and Tom, it is really hard for Claire and her parents to watch this video, but they're sharing it publicly to show people how important it is to get get trained in CPR and to know how to use an AED. Claire had experienced shoulder pain for a couple of years, but her doctors never suspected her heart, and no one expected this. I was like right about here, and then I staggered a couple steps. 17-year-old Claire Crawford is the girl in the video, the one whose heart suddenly stops. Well, I feel nauseous watching it because it's a little scary. It happened here in the gym at Loganville Christian Academy during an October volleyball match. It was senior night. Claire's parents, Eric and Lisa, had set up a video camera across the gym. It was up a up on the stage. You don't expect that it's going to happen at your school, right, literally right in front of you. I had just served and then I'd set, set the ball up and then moved back and then I just remember feeling like I was about to pass out. Claire grabs her chest then hits the floor in full cardiac arrest. Terrified. Terrified. The camera still rolling. Claire is surrounded. You're very nervous. You're not sure what to do. You're not sure what you're seeing. Julie Sermons, a school administrator and member of Loganville Christian Academy's Code Blue team, trained in CPR by Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, sprang into action, helped by an athletic trainer and a parent who also knows CPR. Claire had lost all signs of life. She wasn't breathing. We couldn't find a pulse. She did not look like there was any life to her. And I, at that point, didn't know what to do. But Julie Sermons did because the Code Blue team had practiced this same drill at least 15 times in the last six years. And instinct and training kicked in. You do the one thing that you know to do, and then you do the next thing, and then you do the next thing. Have someone call 911. Go grab the AED. That AED was only about 30 feet away. Lots of praying. Lots of. I mean, panic and praying. You hear a lot of noise. The machine is constantly telling you what to do. I mean, it, tell, it was telling her to shock, which to Julie and I kind of looked at each other and she, then she pushed it. And just like that, four and a half minutes after they lost Claire, they get her back. I woke up to one of the ladies in my face that had been giving me mouth to mouth, and the AED machine was like shouting CPR, CPR, and the alarm was going off. Claire's heart, which tests later revealed had three severe blockages, had slipped into a fatal irregular rhythm known as ventricular fibrillation or VFib. And it's a rhythm that can only be corrected by a shock, so if I like gone down and they hadn't had the AED, CPR would not have been enough to bring me back. I would have had to wait for the ambulance. Walton County EMS got there quickly in about 11 minutes. By that time, Claire was already sitting up and talking. She underwent a triple bypass, then surgery to put in an internal defibrillator. I was just blessed to be in a place where they, it could be treated. So like two weeks before that, I was in Honduras on a mountain and there's no way I w if it had happened then. I would have lived so. And this week, Children's Health Care of Atlanta shared the video of Claire's AED save on its Facebook page. In the first two days, it's been viewed seven million times. One of the comments that sticks out are why would any school not have one of these? And Loganville Christian has three stationary AEDs and two travel ones that go with their sports teams. They were all paid for with grants. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Project Save trains schools in how to respond to emergencies just like this one. And on Friday, Project Save is holding a drill day. They're asking schools to practice their emergency action plans so that they know what to do just in case. Because Tom and Sine, this was like a perfect storm. Mm -hmm. Everything was carefully coordinated. They had the AED. They had the training. They knew yeah. what to do. They practiced it enough that when it happened, it was like rote. Everybody they just jumped did what they action. knew to do. Yeah. yeah. It's a reminder.